Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited and I know you are too. I'm going to be reviewing, swatching, and showing you a tutorial using the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Divine Rose, the newest eyeshadow palette she has come out with. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. foremost this video is really exciting because it is in collaboration with my friend alicia or kinky sweat i know most of you are probably already subscribed to her i talk about her a lot in my videos but i really wanted to collaborate with her on this just because the pat mcgrath labs community i feel like is a lot smaller than some bigger brands here on youtube so i really feel like alicia shares the same passion and love that i do for this brand it's always so exciting to be able to share enthusiasm for a new product from a brand that you truly love it's been really fun we've been talking about the palette with each other i've been like have you has yours come yet has yours come yet and yeah it's just been an, an exciting process to open the package and talk about it and just I'm just really excited about another Pat McGrath palette. The thing that I love most about Alicia's videos that I think you guys are going to is how in-depth she goes into her reviews. She gets this information, like, I don't know where she finds it, so if you really like to know in-depth stories and just facts about the product that the average person can't find, somehow Alicia finds it. So those of you who love those in-depth types of videos, definitely check out her channel, and she's so genuine, such a kind soul, so just wanted to give her a little bit of love and we just wanted to show you how excited we were for this palette so let's get into it I do have to say though I have been talking a lot about oversaturation that is happening right now like my wallet is sad I don't have enough time and I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed and every time Pat McGrath comes out with a palette I feel like it's a really special release this is her fifth palette release that she's come out with in a very short period of time I'm excited because I love every single one of her palettes, but also my wallet's not excited, and in terms of oversaturation, I am saturated. Moving on though, because I'm still excited about this palette. So major details about this palette is that it is $120 from Selfridges. Let, let me explain the situation. So this palette actually released in the UK first from Selfridges, and it was exclusive to that company, but you know I had to order it, and it actually sold out super duper fast. So right now it is currently unavailable. As far as I've been told, it will be released on the Pat McGrath Labs website. November 7th. Don't hold me to that. That's what I heard. But yes, my folks in the UK got a chance to get their hands on it first. So here's the deal. It's coming from the UK and shipping was like really expensive. I think it was $30 or something like that. But then Selfridges also offers if you pay like a $55 fee up front, you get a year of free shipping from them. And guys, I would seriously say take advantage of that. It is worth it because certain brands like Tom Ford is actually significantly cheaper than it is in the US. So if you order from there and you take advantage of those discounts, then you actually end up saving a lot of money. So I did pay for the $55, which hurt, but in the long run, hopefully it's going to be worth it. Online it does say that it is limited edition. So if you are interested in it, I would say get your hands on it because we don't want another decadence incident to happen, okay? I know some of y'all are still mourning about the fact you have not yet gotten that palette. So if this is catching your eye, maybe you want to pick it up, okay? This is her Mothership Tempan eyeshadow palette, the best eyeshadow palettes that she has to offer in my opinions. So let's talk about the packaging really quickly. First of all, this is the most beautiful outside that she has had these palettes come in ever in my opinion. It is so soft and so romantic. I love it. When you purchase these palettes, yes, $120 is quite expensive, but like it's art it's about the experience and this is part of the art right here this is this is stunning if you buy these palettes and you don't keep this shame on you because these this one is absolutely stunning and then of course you have the typical packaging very heavy and luxurious and then you open it up and you are going to reveal the 10 shades as you can see it is a very rosy romantic taupey kind of theme i am 
all for this color theme. I do have to say this particular palette, it's not as photogenic because I was a little bit underwhelmed when I saw the photos. I thought it was really great for neutral lovers, but then I saw it in person and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. So it's definitely not as photogenic and it's prettier to look at in person. In here, you're getting a range of like mauves, taupes, rosy kind of colors, some gold in there. Really cohesive, beautiful color scheme. Formulation wise, you're getting two true mattes, four shimmers, three of the, those Blitz Astral kind of formulas, which is really specific to her brand and really unique. One of them is actually, it feels a little bit like putty. It's very very interesting and creamy and then one super glitter formula now I think Pat McGrath eyeshadow quality formula is top of the line so I'm not gonna go into it too much I think the formula is worth it I think her formulas are very unique especially these four at the end it's a formula that is really only found in her brand and take a look really quickly at these iridescent colors literally dying at these. All of these shades swatched really nice and I would say I feel like the shimmers in this palette are kicked up a little bit more than normal. Normally I think her shimmers are good but nothing amazing. This time the shimmers seem to be extra buttery, creamy, pigmented and just really stunning overall. Something you may want to keep in mind is that there are a few shades in this palette that are already existing in her regular line. As far as I could tell there are four repeats. So the first repeat that we have is right here. This is Skin Show Nude and this is found in the Mothership One Subliminal Palette. Generally speaking though, this particular shade isn't that unique. It's like a champagne with a gold shift to it. Another shade that is a repeat is Iridescent Pink 003. That's one that kind of feels interesting, a little bit like putty. Now this is actually from the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. So I do have that and this as a highlighter for me on my skin tone isn't as flat I think this is fabulous on somebody with a deeper skin tone because the pink iridescence in here is really really strong and it's just a little bit too pink on my skin tone but on somebody deep wonderful and it's gonna look beautiful on the eye so you can use this as a highlighter or an eyeshadow another repeat is rose dusk right here this is from the mothership to sublime it's a really pretty color really great touch in this palette it doesn't knock my socks off as a color but I do really like it and then the last shade that's a repeat which is unfortunate is astral solstice and this is from the newest big mothership palette midnight Sun and that palette's pretty new it's only a couple months old and we're already getting a repeat a little bit annoyed at that i think this color is absolutely stunning but she released these two palettes not that far apart and already there's a repeat like i don't know maybe there was a lot of leftover so she threw it in this palette but honestly kind of annoyed because i love her glitter formulas they're my favorite so I wanted something new, not a repeat. Now, as somebody who owns like everything from Pat McGrath, four of these 10 shades are already existing in my collection, which value-wise kind of sucks. But if you are somebody that doesn't have a lot of Pat McGrath, this is a wonderful palette. If you're the type of person that stayed away from her palettes because the color schemes were a little bit out there for you, I really truly do feel like in this palette, there's a color that you can use for every day that you're going to get used out of all 10 of these colors. Nothing is really crazy out there. Maybe except for the glitter, but you can do something fun with the glitter, like pop it in your inner corners or for a night out, pop that on your lid, because I do think her glitter formula is the best glitter formula on the market. And it's only one, so you're not getting like a whole glitter palette if you're not somebody who uses glitter. But for the most part, like this is the most wearable palette that is currently in her line. I feel like a lot of you are going to love this. This is a great first palette to purchase from her. It's just a really wearable palette that I think you guys are going to really like. The tones of it are more like mauve taupey, so in particular brown eyes and green eyes, this is going to look wonderful and really complement your eyes as well. So quickly, I'm going to show you how I created this look. Really simple. So the first color that I took was Valoria and honestly this is one of my favorite shades in this palette. It is really unique. It's a light mauve taupe shade and I applied that all over my lid as the initial transition color. The next shade 
that I took is Extreme Mahogany. And this blended with Valoria almost created a plum shade. This color is insane. It's so pigmented on the eyelid, but it's also so blendable and easy to work with. Pat McGrath, like, she does it again. This is an amazing, really dark chocolate brown color, which can be very scary, but this palette made it easy. The next shade that I took is Rose Dusk, and I applied that to the center of my lid. I really wanted to focus on those rosy mauves for this look because that's what the whole essence of the palette is about. So I applied that to the center of my lid, but of course I had to play with one of the duochrome shades. So I took VR Rose Venus and I applied that to the inner part of my lid. Now this does pull very golden, so it does have that pink gold shift to it, but the gold is really what I can see right now the most, which I think is still really pretty. I then took Iridescent Pink and I applied that to my inner corners. Again, on my light skin, it is really pink, which isn't the most flattering, but it was a really great base for the inner corner. And then I took Astral Solstice right here and I applied that right on top of my inner corner to add a little bit of glitter. And that is how I got this look. It isn't like a showstopper kind of look, but this palette is more wearable, so I wanted to do a more wearable look while also using a large range of colors. And just looking at this palette, you can create even really neutral looks as well using the gold and this mahogany shade and the shade right here. You can create some really neat taupe eyes. So even though this palette is quite cohesive in the color scheme, you can really do different wearable everyday looks. You can have a more gold look, you can have a more rose look, you can have a more taupe look. You can really do a lot with it. So I would say it's not my favorite of all of the Pat McGrath palettes. However, I think this is going to be a crowd favorite because it is really wearable, really approachable as an eyeshadow palette. And I think it's a really great one to put your money into because you're probably going to be able to use every shade in here. Obviously, if you can't tell, I really do enjoy this palette quite a lot. It's one of those palettes where it doesn't knock my socks off, but it's one that I'm probably going to use the most. So that I cannot complain about. So if you have not yet subscribed to my friend Alicia, I will link her channel down below. You definitely need to go check out her video on this palette. She will definitely be getting into the nitty gritty of it all. So definitely check her channel out for things that I missed because I know she'll cover them. It was just really fun experiencing this palette with her. I'm also experiencing it with you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, you should do it. <laughs> I don't know. And hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Thank you so much. And that's all I have. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.